Ever wondered if living to 150 is just a fantasy? We are unpacking a provocative perspective from gerontologist Jay Olshansky, who argues that the dream of radical life extension might not be as attainable as we think. With decades of research under his belt, Olshansky challenges the optimistic narratives surrounding aging and longevity. Get ready to explore the surprising realities of our lifespans and the science that shapes them. Gerontologist Jay Olshansky has spent decades challenging that prevailing narratives about human longevity and his latest findings are stirring the pot once again. Known for his candid assessments, Olshansky and his team first gained attention in the 1990s when they predicted that average lifespans would peak at around 85 years with only a slim chance 1% to 5% of children born today living to see their 100th birthday. This prediction diverged sharply from the more optimistic forecast that suggested half of newborns would reach centenarian status. Fast forward over three decades and the data appears to support Olshansky's initial caution. His recent study published in Nature Aging evaluates lifespan data from several countries including Australia, Japan and the United States, revealing that female children born in 2019 have a mere 5.1% chance of reaching 100 years old, while for males that number dwindles to just 1.8%. We waited 30 years to test our hypothesis, Olshansky stated, adding the era of rapid increases in human life expectancy has entered just as we predicted. The pushback to Olshansky's conclusions has been significant. Many cling to the notion that advancements in medical science and technology will continue to extend life indefinitely. People said no, 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 Olshansky recalled reflecting on the backlash to their initial claims. He emphasizes that while progress continues in extending life expectancy, it occurs at a slower pace than in previous decades. He urges caution against exaggerated claims of radical life extension, calling them untestable scientific hypotheses. Olshansky points out that aging, which he describes as the inevitable decline of cells and organs, is a formidable barrier to achieving longer lifespans. He likens current medical advancements to a game of whack-a-mole where as soon as one health issue is addressed, another emerges, complicating the quest for longevity. You can continue to make progress against major diseases, but it's not going to have the life-extending effect that people think, he noted. While medications and treatments have undeniably allowed many to live longer, he warns that this may merely be manufactured time rather than a genuine extension of life. The rise of obesity and related diseases has further complicated the longevity landscape. Olshansky was part of a team that predicted in 2005 that this generation of children could face shorter lifespans than their parents due to obesity-related health issues. Obesity leads to diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, he explained. While medical interventions have improved, he cautions that reversing these conditions won't significantly affect life expectancy. Instead, the effects of existing health issues linger, creating a complicated picture of aging. Despite the hurdles, Olshansky sees glimpses of hope on the horizon. Research in GeroScience, which is a study of biological aging, has shown promise in extending lifespan in mortal organisms like fruit flies and mice. However, he stresses the importance of tempering expectations. While we can extend the lifespan of shorter-lived species, there is no evidence it translates into a similar increase for humans, he said. Instead of merely focusing on lifespan extension, Olshansky advocates for an emphasis on health span, which is the period during which individuals remain healthy and free from serious illness. The implications of this approach are profound. As the population ages, the focus should shift from how long we live to how well we live. 
health span is the most precious commodity on earth he argues without significant breakthroughs in slowing the biological process of aging we may find ourselves facing a paradox incremental improvements in life expectancy could come at the cost of increased frailty and disability effectively trading one set of health issues for another the conversation around longevity is evolving and olshinsky's perspectives challenge conventional wisdom his work serves as a reminder that the quest for longer life is complex and multifaceted necessitating a broader understanding of health aging and the interplay between them the excitement surrounding radical life extension claims must be balanced with a realistic appraisal of current scientific capabilities and the implications of our aging population in interviews including a notable one with cnn olshinsky reinforces the message that while life expectancy continues to grow it does so at a slower rate and we must confront the underlying biological realities of aging the optimistic projections that humans might soon regularly live to 120 or even 150 years are often based on speculative science rather than empirical evidence As research continues, it's essential to maintain a balanced perspective on the potential and limits of longevity science. While there may be advancements that could lead to a second longevity revolution, the need for caution remains paramount. Olshinsky's insistence on focusing on health span rather than just life span is a call to action for researchers, policy makers, and society at large. As we navigate the complexities of aging and health, His insights will likely shape the future discussions around what it means to live a long fulfilling life. What if the secret to a fulfilling life isn't just about living longer but living better? J Olshansky's insights push us to rethink our assumptions about aging. As we navigate the complexities of longevity, let's focus not just on the years we add but on the quality of those years. If this perspective resonated with you, drop a comment, hit that like button and subscribe for more thought provoking discussions. Until next time, keep questioning the status quo.